in the current demonstration we will learn about the keyboard a keyboard is an input device used for entering the data directly into a computer it resembles a lot with the typewriter console a keyboard is available in variety of size and shapes most keyboards today are called qwerty keyboards which takes its name from the first six alphabets on the left side of the keyboard keyboard set a keyboard contains a set of keys which are pressed to enter the data the key set consists of function keys the function keys are used to issue commands this set comprises of 12 keys and each are labeled as F1, F2 and so on up to F12. For example, in many programs we use F1 key to display help information. Next, alphabet key set. This set comprises of 26 English alphabet letters marked in capital. They are not placed in alphabetical order. Number keys. The number keys are situated above the alphabet keys marked with the digits from 0 to 9. They are in the order of 1, 2, 3 up to 0. The number key serves a dual purpose. If we simply press the number key, then the number will be displayed on the monitor. But if we press shift key along with the number key, then different symbols will be displayed. Cursor movement keys. These are used to move the cursor on the screen. The cursor is the marker or a symbol that indicates the position where the next character would be inserted. These keys have directional keys on them. That is, the cursor moves in up, down, left and right directions. Next, numeric keypad. It is a small section of the keyboard that has only number keys on it. This keypad makes it easier and faster to type in numbers for calculations. Special purpose keys. This set of keys have some specific tasks to perform. It includes Escape key. This is pressed when you want to quit from any program. Caps lock key. This is used when you want all the alphabetic letters to appear in capitals. Shift keys are used to select the symbols that appear above the numbers at the top of the keyboard. In case your caps lock key doesn't work, then pressing shift with any alphabetic letter simultaneously produces it in capitals or uppercase. Control key. This is used with other keys to send commands or to produce special characters. For instance, to select the save command in some programs, a combination of control and S key is used. Alternate key. It is yet another key used in combination with other keys. For instance, Alt and F4 keys used simultaneously closes the open windows on the desktop. Spacebar It is a long bar at the bottom of the keyboard. While typing, it is basically used to enter space between two words. Delete key it is pressed to delete or remove characters. And backspace key, as the name suggests, moves the cursor in a backward position.